Yeah. Well, the, um, I, I will answer it to you like a different... When I direct the film, it was very important for me, with Noah and the, the rest of the cast, that uh, silence, it's part of... It's like a replica, like when you're, when that's, you're done saying anything, it's like you say a lot. So, so this was like a language in this film for me. And the main thing is that Effie, she's not a victim. Like she's not a victim, she will never be a victim. But she wants to, and she's like, she's not an activist, she's activate. Other to see, okay, I, I see what's going on, please change it because you can, because you're powerful, because you're a woman, you're, you can do it. So this is what her part for, for me. But the silence, unfortunately, it's everywhere, like when we are, um, know about this kind of stories. I hope I answer you. Yes, I just uh, don't understand why women aren't more proactive in protecting the children. The yeah, why, when, why aren't women more proactive in protecting the children? Um, you want to answer? It's a psychological question. Probably. I think uh, maybe, the, uh, the, maybe the police can answer this yeah. question. <laughs> <laughs> um, well, I'm with you. I'm with you. Um, yeah. Right up there? Was this adapted from a true story? Um, I'm from Akko originally, and uh, and uh, this is my hometown, and this is my childhood house, the original one. And but I don't smoke Montana <laughs> anymore, so you know it's the environment. Right there. Yeah, I just want to say what I got from Effie's actions in the movie was she was from the beginning. She came knowing she was going to confront this, mm. but she didn't want to blow up a bomb and leave everything destroyed. And I thought she was brilliant. Yeah. The writing is brilliant mm -hmm. that she figures out this way of moving everyone in a position to address the problem. I thought good. that was brilliant. Thank you. It's not easy to, 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 to do it. It's not easy to say, but she, yeah, she knew. She knew from the beginning. But it was 15 years ago, so... I think we have time for one more question. From a directing standpoint, was the fact that it is such a personal story and such a personal place an obstacle, or did it, do you think mm. it made it a stronger story? Um, because it was such a personal story, did it, was it an obstacle, or did it make it a stronger story? I didn't understand the question. Okay. Uh, um, um, I think it was it it's but it's it's complicated because it's for me it's to go back to my hometown so but but I I, I really think and I and I can say today that I couldn't do it if I weren't in this original places so in the other way I think it was must for me to do it there so it's strong yeah mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. well thank you the more and thank you Noah. thank you so much and thank, thank you to the audience. Oh. Yeah. Has your family seen the movie? Uh -huh. Yeah, they saw it at Haifa Film Festival. Yeah. Um, it it depends because we have Andre, like uh, not told you, but they 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 really they really loved it and they was very uh, emotional and excited about it, and uh, they really thought that the actors who played my 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 grand. Uh, father uh, was very much like him, similar to him. <laughs> I have one other thing. You said that you won the award, the actress award, was for this film? Yeah. Was the actress Two award for ago. this film? Yeah. Thank you. Here. Thank you. It was her first role, by the way, in the cinema, so, yeah. Oh, very well. Thank you very much. Thank you. Everyone, and I, 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 I learned their language, and all the manners, I grew up in Rehovot, which is a different city in, in Israel, um, but I know all the places and I know all the story. Um, the background is not really um, uh, different from where I grew up. So it was really um, easy for me <laughs> to, to be there. And let me tell you, tell you a story, a very funny story that happened in, during the shooting uh, where we had to shoot one of the sex scenes, which is very weird. 
and it was five in the morning and uh, we didn't expect that so uh, it was uh, we, we, we were supposed to shoot something else and then she gave me 5 30 in the morning she told me we're gonna shoot the sex scene so uh, good luck <laughs> and then I said okay uh, and the other actor actor uh, actors uh, Neta uh, she was nervous too it was in the car uh, we sat down and she said action <laughs> And we were very nervous, and then she understood that it's not going to happen. So she took off her shirt, and she told us, Now you're comfort? Okay, action! <laughs> so uh, that's how working with Lemore is, and uh, that's how she directed all the movies. She's the best director. No, I was in <laughs> So, um, Lamora, what was some of like the biggest obstacles you had to overcome since this was your first feature? Yeah. Well, uh, yeah, it was my first. It's it's it is my first feature, and it's uh, the first feature I wrote, and I'm a casting director, like I told you, and um, so the casting part was like very uh, easy to me because I knew all the actors in Israel, and but uh, to go back to my hometown to my family places this was the main uh, challenge right. uh, when I, I, I grew up in the sort of a tribe so every tribe there is a chief you know so I came to my aunt that she is like the manager of all the and I and I asked her permission to shoot in in my grandmother place and she asked me what the story is about I said oh, okay <laughs> Okay, uh, and I told her it's a love story between two women, uh, and she said, there's no lesbians in Akko. <laughs> and I said, you think? <laughs> so, when, so they, they came to the shooting, they were there, they, 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 they were so nice, they didn't want to interrupt, so they came like when it's, it was okay, and, and I think it was the best decision to do it there uh, for me to, in my relationship with them. But this is was the main uh, right. challenge. Um, well, I think we'll take some questions from the audience. If you, if anybody has them, raise your hand. Way in the back. Uh, I have two questions. Could you talk about the title? And well. could you also talk about what you want us to think the grandmother knew? Well, Let me repeat that question. Um, could you talk about the title and what you think the grandmother knew? Okay. Uh, Montana, it's an Israeli brand of cigarettes. Very, oh. very famous one, like in the 1780s, very disgusting one, if you ask me. But there's no, no one uh, uh, smoked it today, but my aunt, the, the one that thinks that there's no lesbian snacko, she still smoked this cigarette, and this was my first cigarette I smoked when I was a kid, I was told for her. So I knew that I want to call my film Montana before I knew the story. <laughs> so this is this is the main reason and Montana in Israel it's very like nostalgic because there was a very famous ice cream and when Effie returns after 15 years she returned to her past so so I thought it's it's a great name was that yeah. the pack of old cigarettes that she picked up in the garden when she first got there was that Montana yeah sort of but it's not the original because we couldn't <laughs> but but it's the M, and, and I like it that I, I can uh, invite, like, do it by myself. Any other questions? Uh, she, she asked. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, about the, what the grandmother th knew, what she thought. She I had. think grandmom knows everything. <laughs> and, but they're not talking a lot of it, so they just have the look, at least in my, my family. <laughs> Yep, right there. She said you're from a different tribe. Well, I don't know what that means. Um, let me repeat it to the back. Uh, she said she, you're from a different tribe. Not, uh, n sort of a tribe, like we are a big family. Very big one. Like I have my father have like nine, ten brothers, sister, and my mother also. So. Limor has 100 cousins and I have six. <laughs> <laughs> so in a tribe, like in a big family, there's one chief that, that oh. he, she made a decision, so this is what I meant. I, I, I wasn't getting it, but now, okay. Any other questions right there? Mm -hmm. You captured the reticence of women to call out um, incest on a child. It happened in my family. This this conspiracy of silence 
where the women knew, the women saw, and even you as the lead actor hesitated in calling it out. Help me explain, understand that. Um, the question was how um, women